Hello, I'm Ibeza, the coach of the Salford Solgaleo, and I am here with my second Cutlass Draft League match. Uh, yesterday I uploaded my team builder for this match, uh, and this week my opponent is Houdini. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Houdini, I'm the coach of the Honored Hone Edges, and one of the other hosts of the CDL. There you go, so uh, I'm against one of the hosts, the, the one of the... Um, the, the, the Dr. Frankensteins of this monster. Yes, uh, <laughs> an absolute monstrosity. <laughs> and uh, so last week, I don't know if you uh, if you caught my match. Uh, I, I, I did, I, yeah. I, I, after a few slight issues with me setting up my team properly, um, I fell short essentially because I didn't spot a second trick room setter. I feel like it would have been a really close match if I'd have realised the threat that Sloking posed in terms of speed control. I just... I just yes. I got so carried away with the fact that I got rid of Gothitelle and then Lapras was my threat that I forgot to even stop and think. So this week I'm gonna try and think a bit more. <laughs> totally, totally understandable. Like yeah. television suddenly gets everybody, so don't yeah. feel too bad about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was a good battle as, nonetheless. As for the, the level thing, um I have been on the receiving end of that in the, the previous iteration <laughs> of this. Um, Jada Bella did the same thing to me. She brought a team of level 100s and just absolutely <laughs> crushed me. Um, luckily, we noticed very quickly and yeah. had a redo. Yeah, but same. You should, I haven't released it. I, I totally haven't, get it. I haven't released it, but I'm really yeah. tempted to at some point because the video of me wiping Loma, the, the reaction of me being so yeah. confused and shocked that A, it was going well at all, but B, it was going that well i was like too well yeah too well and like my, yeah. Yeah, my whole reaction to it was just yeah I, I think it could be bonus content to be honest because it was pretty funny we i ha i still i still have the blooper video of my match against jade last season where on the first turn she just double ko's me with non non-effective moves yeah and i'm just like looking into the camera like what the <laughs> fuck just happened <laughs> Yeah, and, um, and like, um, so in terms of us being opponents this week, am I right in thinking that it's done on a basis of your record? So it's like, yeah. So the way it, we're playing a Swiss bracket, yeah. so the way it works is that after the first round, four people will be one and zero, and four people will be zero and one. Yeah, and those people will play from people with the same result. Right. So yeah, I um, said this in my team builder that I. I felt like because I haven't managed to rewatch the stream of, of week one just yet. It's been a very very That's chaotic fair. week, but I was like, I get the feeling because I'm facing you. You lost, and you're one of I, the. Threats. I did. I did. I did lose my first round to uh, Elise. Uh, she's a very good team, very good player. So I'm like, oh, Houdin is a really good player who is also like out for out for revenge and to get a victory. So I don't feel confident going into this one. I'm not gonna lie, but. I'm going to give it my best. You, you know from the um, the, the draft uh, stream that, you know, I was just like, I'm here for good vibes and to have a good time and not expecting to win anything. Um, I mean, hey, your so. your team has actually, like, got some got some business in there. It was it was a very hard team to prepare for. I'll I, be real. I'm glad because um, I found this team builder harder than last week's. Last week's, I sort of saw Law Mother draft those two Pokemon back to back and was like, okay, I can build a team around trying to combat that. Turns out it was wrong, yeah. but at least I found it easy. <laughs> Whereas yours, I'm like, I'm less sure what you're doing with your team. So therefore it's harder to prepare for, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, yeah totally. I'm, um, I'm ready on, on showdown whenever you are now. Uh, we'll I, I will, the call I will send you a challenge. Cool. So we'll deafen the call and we'll, uh, we'll have a little chat afterwards. Sounds good. All right. Good Best luck. luck. You too. Not that Houdini needs luck against me. Um, okay, so. Here we go. No music. Don't know why there's no music this time. There was music last time. Um, is it in my battle options? It's not. Okay, we're just going to have to deal with our... Okay, so... But Haxorus, Scyther, Incineroar, uh, Forgotten Your Name, Rillaboom, uh, the Mega Ursuline thing, what's that one called? You can tell I'm a pro, can't you? Ursaluna, 
and I can never say this one. Is it for Farigiraf? Something like that. So I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna double intimidate right off the bat. I think. No, I'm gonna single intimidate, and I'm gonna send out. Purple Turtle. Okay. Okay. Right, so he might be a bit scared of Purple Turtle here uh, with Incineroar. Um, so we've got, both got Intimidate off. So I'm thinking... Haxler seems to just want to hit hard. I think I might double fake out. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Huh? Okay, I'm so confused. Have they both got armor tail? Okay, so that's gonna do... Something. So I'm going to double into the Ferrigarath. Okay, I'm fine with that. Nice, good damage. Taunt it. Can't use Trick Room. Yes! Okay, it's a Trick Room team. Cool. So now. Now I'm gonna, yeah, okay, cool. Grassy Surge, that's not great. Oh, missed. Oh, hello, Hyper Voice. Okay, right, yeah, we're in trouble now. I think bringing Summer out here, and we... Energy Ball that, and then I think we're going to switch Blastoise for Freddy? Yeah, let's switch in Freddy. Ouch. Oh my god. Holy cow, that just one bombed me. I'm surprised he still went grass me, although I don't have anything that actually resists grass. So I think I need to just take out this Rillaboom, ASAP. It's pure grass, I think I power gem her then. It's faster, of course it is. Heck. Mm. 
Yeah, we're just gonna get absolutely wiped here. So if Flare Blitz is base 120 and it did did what percent? 72. So it's base 120 plus stab plus super effective. That's 240. That's 360. Jesus, and it only did 72%. That's wild. Does grassy, I don't know what grassy terrain does. Um, but that's 360, so that's like four times stronger than this. So yeah, extreme speed isn't going to kill her. Balloon Earthquake. Ah, get. Okay, that's nice. Okay, let's try this. It's a big risk because if they hit good boy, they pop the balloon and I'm in trouble. Has he noticed? Has, has Houdini noticed that I'm not regaining health on grassy, so, grassy terrain? Quite possibly. Nice. Oh, now we get single target. Ah, no we don't. Damn it. Okay, we got a Pokemon down. We didn't get 6 would Woohoo! But we are in a spot of bother now. So, we attacked. Oh, so he's going to try and trick room again, isn't he? Okay. So, yeah, I think we just bam. Bam. Oh, what? Okay, so I don't understand that ability, clearly. None of my plans came into fruition here. None of them. Damn. Yep, GG. Screw it. <laughs> Absolutely mauled, mate. Huh. Hey. Well, you absolutely mauled me. <laughs> I tried something a bit a bit different there and it didn't pay off. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's important to try things. So I didn't um, I, I one thing I would say is um I didn't understand for Rigoraf's ability properly. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I, I um, on that. I I thought yeah. it was immune to fake out itself, 
but it just prevents me fake outing anyone on the field. Exactly. It, yeah, it right. will not just fake out. It blocks any, priority. Any, moves. any priority, yeah. So if there's something with prankster as well, it also blocks prankster moves. Right. Specifically ones that target. Yeah. I was, because I was like, oh no, he wants to set up sick room here. Let me murder that photograph. So I was like helping hand e speed, make sure I go first. And then it was like, oh no, that didn't work. And I just, I said I was going to think more and I just didn't. <laughs> It's okay. It's uh. it's very easy to tunnel vision on things mm. that you perceive as a problem, like early. Yeah. Um, like your lead was good, the double fake out mm, questionable, but yeah. like it was a good idea, right? Like the idea is not bad. Execution is just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Wanting. Well, the, the, I led I led with that because I was hoping to taunt something. And then you led yeah. with two Pokemon that I perceived to be quite attacking, so I was like, I don't think there's much merit in taunting either of them. So, yeah. so then I, I, I just sort of didn't really have a solid plan B, so I just went with fake out on everything. <laughs> but then you switched yeah. to figure after it just hard block that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was. So the battle with Law Mother, I was sort of aware of what I probably could have done different to get a different outcome i don't know what i could have done against you <laughs> that's the difference i think obviously not getting yeah. the, not getting f um Figuraf's ability wrong would be a big thing but i don't think that fundamentally changed the battle um i'm just glad i didn't get six owed <laughs> well yeah you know like uh, there was definitely moments there where i was especially with the the arcanine um i was like oh uh, this like if this thing has like rock slide or um, you know, like uh, earthquake. I think yeah. you know also an earthquake. Both of those moves, I was pretty afraid of because I don't really have a so, a wide guard user. So I had so. earthquake on um, Golem, and I had right. I had air balloon on Arcanine, so I could have Arcanine out whilst earthquaking, and I also had yeah, fl right. flying terror type Blastoise. <laughs> <laughs> the you know, was... not bad. Do you have do you have Terra Blast on the Blastoise? Yeah, uh, as well? yeah, yeah, I had Terra Blast, yeah. Okay. That's, that's why I, that's pretty ball. The that's last, pretty baller. The last turn I um I because I knew I was Terror. losing anyway, I te I terrored into flying just to show you that essentially. <laughs> just to, oh, that was pretty cool. Um just to be like, look, this is uh, this is probably unexpected. But yeah, I was trying to figure out how I could like use Earthquake a lot more safely. Um because I know Protect is like really common in doubles but i find it hard to fit on a lot of my pokemon um yeah with definitely. the ideas it's... i'm trying to have so like i i yeah it makes makes sense i was um, like how else protect... can i get around earthquake damaging your partner kind of thing yeah yeah so having a flying type pokemon balloon that sort of stuff that's yeah. usually pretty good um there's also like uh telepathy i believe the ability telepathy okay lets you avoid damage from your your teammates um and yeah can i just a, can i just ask because I was curious, yeah. I did mention it during my commentary. Did you notice Arcanine was balloon when it didn't regain health from grassy terrain? Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if, like, you know, like, because I know there's a lot going on during a battle if you're, like, already thinking of your next move and not particularly watching for that, as you know, so... Um, like, so after the first, like, the second turn it was in when it used a different move, I was like, okay, well, I know it's not choice ban, which is mm. the stereotypical item yeah. that you would have on that Pokemon. Yep. Um, so I, like, hovered it, and it showed me that I had a balloon. Because ah. also, when it comes in, when the Pokemon comes in, it says it hovers with the air balloon. Oh, does it? Yeah. Fair. I, di I didn't even notice that, and I sent it in. <laughs> okay. Um, um, yeah, yeah, you can see it. If you watch the replay back, you'll, you'll yeah. see that. I'm, I'm um, well out of practice, as you can probably tell with competitive battling. You know, like, it's been... Uh, no, it's, it was Gen 6 it's, was when I used to battle on Showdown a lot, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fair way out of the loop, but you know, okay. having fun nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, for, even for me personally, like, um, I always find the drafting portion of it infinitely more fun than the battles. Mm. Um, I find the battles to be like <laughs> unnecessary stressful. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's fun to do, but I would rather like just run the event, let other people play and worry about that sort of stuff and do the commentary and all that. So that's what I find entertaining. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, we needed to hit eight. So I, you know, stepped in and here I am. And going to go on and win the whole thing because I need to have lost uh, to, I need to have lost to the eventual winner. So the same thing I told Law Mother. 
I'm telling you, I'll do my best. I'll one do of the people best. I lose to in my in my inevitable 0-4 run <laughs> needs to win it. <laughs> I don't think you're going to 0-4. Oh, I do. Um, oh, I do. I, you know what? Next week, when you're team building, hit me up, and I got some, I got some spicy ideas for you. Okay. I'm all, you, I'm, you don't have to use them. You don't have to use them, but like... I'm, I'm all for pretty... spicy. I'm all for spicy. It's uh, we'll just we're gonna make you a nuclear warhead for okay. your team. Oh, my my golem. We're gonna we, we do yeah, the nuclear. We're gonna golem. do it. Okay. We're gonna I, do I, it. I have watched that video, and I the thing is though, because it was you hosting it, I was like listening, and I was like, okay, so this is what Houdini expects. I can't. Do yeah, any I know of this. what it is. Yeah, <laughs> so, do it. Like yeah. the thing is, right? Is you can do it. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you should. There's there's definitely times where you look at someone's lineup and you go, there's nobody on their team that's immune to electric. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you had Palm though, so I was a bit worried. Um, I do have Palm and I also have the um, Ursa Liver. Yeah. I, 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 can I just say as well, you know when you say uh, spice it, I very nearly, I didn't end up doing it, but my summer had Harvest and very nearly had, oh, the, yeah. had the berry that boosts a random stat. Oh, that's very funny. Um... Yeah, I very nearly did it because I was like, that'd be funny. Like that, that would be quite a funny um thing to have. Like I dropped to a certain level, I I I gain a random stat, I giga drain, I harvest, I get dropped to that level again, and then a different stat yeah. goes up, and you'd be like, no, <laughs> you, you did that, baby. <laughs> like, That's yeah. funny. So um, but I ended up going with citrus. I went a bit more vanilla, but it didn't matter anyway. Like I I don't. <laughs> particular build my teams around like damage calcs and stuff because i could if i started doing that i would get lost in the weeds for like literally hours you know like i totally get it um, i totally get it so i have to <laughs> take a more sort of casual approach to it and just be like okay what is roughly the threat you know like like i yeah exactly. when, when you said right i've got haxorus it only really does one thing i was like okay i don't know what that thing is but it's dragon so i'm gonna bring some dragon killing you know like because yeah, yeah yeah totally um so, like, Haxorus, is one thing is he's just kind of a physical threat. Mm. That's just his one thing. Yeah. Um, like, the the moves he can use are pretty varied. He has pretty decent coverage. But what he does is very limited. Yeah. I, I didn't get to show off my Scyther this, this match, which I wanted to, but... I prepped hard for that Scyther, I want you to know. Really? Yeah, because okay. cause, cause you guys were talking about it and, like, how it can have the speed control and stuff. So I was like, at all times, I need to have a rock move on the pit, on, on the field. Um, so I could That's just, I, I had stealth rock on Mini but never got a chance to set it up either. And you didn't have Scyther with you anyway. So, so that kind of went out. No, the I did. I, I did. did. I you? did bring him. Oh yeah. He was in the battle. Wow, I, I, yeah, I just, just never I, used him. I never brought him in. I never got to bring him in. But um, yeah, I was like, I need, I need rock coverage at near enough all times. So when the Scyther comes in, I just go, no, <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, cause yeah, it's yeah. That, it, like my team getting trick room or tailwind set up on it feels dangerous because it's quite a fast team. So if I lose yeah. that ability to be fast, but I mean, you were just faster than me in a lot of cases anyway, but cause I wasn't yeah. set up well, super speeded this time. <sighs> Um, to be fair, a lot of the things that I used in the battle were priority moves. So, yeah. like, when I was, like, killing your mini orb with Grassy Glide, that's a priority move. Right. Okay. So, it's not that Rilla Boom is super fast. It's just that the move lets him be fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Which is why he's so bulky as well, because yeah. he has a lot of investment in, like, HP and stats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I was I was looking at that, and I was I, I did actually I didn't use the damage calculator, but I did a quick thing in my head where I was like, okay, flare blitz did that much. Can I e speed this thing to death? And I was like, no, damn, <laughs> no e speed probably won't kill it from there, so that's not good. Um, so, yeah. yeah, but no, anyway, like it, oh, go on. it was a good battle, all the same. Like I know you you feel like bad about losing or whatever don't don't feel bad about losing it was a good match i, I don't feel bad about losing i'm I, like i say i'm glad i didn't get six old i came into this expecting to lose um just because i know you're quite good and already on one loss and therefore would be quite you I'm know for blood. driven yeah um so i was like i'm i i felt like i was gonna lose last week to more law mother but i felt less confident this week i felt like i had more chance last week uh next week I'm going in with the mentality. This person has also lost twice, so I'm hoping this is my best chance to pick up a win. Is next week? <laughs> yeah. So just so you're aware, at X and two, 
you can still make top four. Right. I'm probably not going to, but yes, I can. <laughs> it, dep- it depends on your opponent. So say Laura and I both go undefeated the rest of the tournament, right? Yeah. We're both three and one. Yeah. That means you have the best breakers overall. So of the X and twos, you're probably at the top. So you have a chance to sneak in at fourth. Yeah. Just saying. Fair. I mean, like I say, not, not a bad place to be. Here for a good time, not for a long time. But, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but hey, you know the option, but, the, but, the ability is there. But if I get some, take the if I get a couple of wins now and end up in top four, I won't complain. I'll, I'll certainly yeah, embrace exactly. that, and I'll be in top four with two people that already beat me. <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, here we go. <laughs> but, well, you, you get your revenge arc then. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this was loads of fun. Uh, one thing I'm considering doing because i i am fully expecting to go out and not make top four if i make top four awesome bonus but if i don't one thing i'm thinking of doing is asking the players i never got to play if they just want to do friendlies uh yeah just that's a great I idea think, like, i think it'd be fun to play the other players like you know the subsequent weeks just be like yeah can, yeah, yeah, yeah let's just keep our same drafted teams and as if we were drawn against each other just have a battle mm. but then maybe keep microphones on because there's no actual stakes there's so no can, there's no there's no stakes yeah, yeah we can just like have a chat while we're battling and have a bit of fun that way yeah. um yeah because i want to get back into this and the more i sort of it, when i was really into it on gen 6 i got yeah. all right like i would never say i was like really good but i got i got decent at one point and like now i'm yeah. complete noob status again so i'd like to get back to you know can hold my own sometimes you know that's I'd, to get really good i'd have to commit more time to it than i can really afford um but to get like back to decent i i think is achievable so yeah i'll definitely be trying to keep up with some some competitive stuff um after this yeah. is over but yeah thank you so much for the game thank you for jumping into the call and, and doing the intro and the, and the outro uh with me that's as well crazy, man. um it was lots of fun. All the best with the rest of the tournament. I, I, you too. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain. I'm pretty damn certain you're going to end up in top four. So go win the thing so that I lost to the winner. I would appreciate that. Um, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll, that... I'll carry the bees of flag. For, <laughs> for yeah, I'll be, I'll be in the crowd with my taking off my self and soul shirt, which I couldn't find by the way. I'm just wearing some other shirt. Um, I have no <laughs> idea where it is. Um, but. Uh, I'll, be t- I'll be taking that off and underneath is 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 your your honed shirt like <laughs> i'll be switching sides like in the crowd like yes no i was always a fan of this team what are you talking about <laughs> glory hot glory I appreci- fan. I appreci- <laughs> on the bandwagon yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right cool all right man all right. well you have a good week yeah See you, you too and uh speak to you soon bye peace okay Lovely guy. Uh, don't haven't known any of these people that I've played with so far before this league, but both been great. You know, great, friendly, chatty, good to talk to people. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm loving this uh, this little community I've I've discovered. So uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments, like I say, what I did, what noticeable mistakes I made. The uh, not knowing Farigaraf's ability is an obvious one, uh, but beyond that. What else did I do wrong? Let me know. Um, plenty. Subscribe if you're new here, if you'd like to see more of this and like to see my journey to actually getting competent at this again. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.